Hello. Hello, this is Ash. Oh, hey, Ash. Hey, Moose, how's it going? Fantastic, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for joining us on the Faction Radio. Um, we're super excited, as I'm sure you are as well. You've signed with Fearless Records and you've got your debut album coming out on the 21st called The Sinner. How are you feeling about it all? What does the album sort of encapsulate for you and why should we be getting excited about it too? Um, I'm excited because me and the boys have been sitting on this album now for the best part of two years. Um, um, we, we got the songs together and we just decided to fund the work on ourselves. It's like a, a good bargaining tool to have when um, all the record companies want to, you know, put something out. So we have the album finished in our pockets and stuff. Um, so, um, and it took a year then to negotiate the deal with fearless records and stuff. Um, but um, ex we're super excited because we're just, we were so enthusiastic about the quality of the songs on this album. We, we just feel this, um, out of all the parts we've been in before, this is like the best that we've all done um, in our careers, really. Yeah, and I can definitely concur that the album is amazing. I've had a listen to it. Um, you've released one of the singles from the record not long ago, Through the, Through the Night. Can you tell us a little bit about that and why you chose that as one of your singles? Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably one of the most radio-friendly songs on the album, but um, it deals with a lot of uh, James's issues with uh, anxiety and depression and stuff. And I know he wanted um, to put a song on the album to see if he could reach out and help other people who are in the same situation, you know, and too afraid to speak out and get some help about it. So, yeah, I'm glad he did, I, and I hope it does help a lot of people. Yeah, I definitely think it will. It's very relatable. And it's also just an amazing song. Um, going back to like your band, you guys have sort of formed this like super group per se. You know, you being the ex drummer and a co founder of Bullet for My Valentine, and your other members being part of and formerly part of Throw the Fight, Still Remains, and Threat Signal. How did you all come together to form Kill the Lights, and what was your vision going forward with the with the band? Um. I was just sat at home and, and I parted ways with work and stuff and I was just at home bored and I was thinking, you know, I should be on tour, I should be doing something right now and I thought I'd work too hard and, you know, starting up all and stuff and establishing um, those guys and stuff. So um, I just thought, what can I do next? And I thought, oh, the, you know, I've, I've done thousands of shows with um, Still Remains because Bullet and Still Remains did a lot of touring together. So I text Jordan, because I've known Jordan for years, like over 10 years now, and um, I said, do you want to write some songs? And he just sent me 30 or 40 songs, and I was like, this is the stuff we're checking tunes and stuff I really want to play drums on. And it went from there, really, and I'm just looking for a vocalist. And me and Jordan were trying a bunch of different people, so I reached out on my Facebook page, and then James, who had told me about that in 2013, when he was in Throw the Fight, he asked if he could have a go, so I sent him one song, and the rest is history, really, because he just blew the others out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, what an amazing story. Um, how would you, how would you like describe your band and music to someone, and like, how does it compare to your previous work with Bullet? Um, it's a good question because we're getting like a lot of um, really metalcore stuff, but I, I just say it's metal music. Um, it's heavy music with really catchy lyrics, really good guitar playing, really good solos, really good riffs. Drumming's awesome. If I think so myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, um, it's just, I don't know, it's just good songs. Really heavy, good songs. And then you've got this lighter songs like Through the Night and Tear Me Apart and stuff. So the, the balance of the album is really good, I think. So um, I, I'd probably say it's definitely up there with what I used to do in the early bullet and stuff and it's definitely you know Jordan's remains vibes in there as well. Yeah definitely I definitely agree um, and with all the coronavirus stuff going on um, have you been getting through you know the isolation period lockdown how have you been passing the time is it 
you know, mostly just working on music or have you picked up any strange hobbies, learnt any new skills? Um, no, basically it's been uh, drumming every day. I talk to the guys every day. Um, I ask my new hobby is running. I've been running a lot. Yeah. And just hanging out with the kids, really. That's it. And, oh, we have been like, like, you know, a lot of music and doing some covers and stuff as well. Yeah, definitely. And um, on the other side of that, uh, what are you most looking forward to, you know, post COVID? Not to jinx anything, but when everything starts to ease up a little bit. Most exciting to get on the plane, meet the guys. Go on tour so we can play our first show together. I don't care <laughs> yeah. who it is, how many people are there. Definitely. I just want to play with, with my back. Yeah, for sure. And um, just a little random thing. I was looking at your Facebook biography for the band and it had a, a little sentence saying that, you know, heavy music transcends all borders and resonates with people on a really primal and natural level. Why do you think that is? Um, I don't know. Something I get excited about is just it relaxes me. The heavier the music, the more I get relaxed. Yeah, all the faster the music, the more I get relaxed. I, I don't I just think it just takes away all, all negative energies, I think. For me personally as well, you know. The, the heavier the music, the faster the music, the, the more the whole my feel, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm like that as well. I definitely know, <laughs> know where you're coming from. And um, who, speaking of like influences, who would be your top influences in the music world, whether that's like singular artists or just bands? Um, well, um I've been listening to a lot of Lamb of God lately. The new album, I think, is incredible. Um, well, I'm, I'm when we were recording the album, I was on the train back and forth in the studio. I was listening to Ghost, a lot of Ghost. Um, I was listening to California by Blink 182 a lot. Other oh, nice. from uh, my um, influences. Like Pantera, Machine Head, yeah, Metallica, Bruce Priest, mean all the all good stuff. Yeah, I love it. And um, just before we wrap, would you like to add anything else, or like to say anything else? I have just how we're itching to basically come back down to Australia and just tour as much as we possibly can. And um, it's one of the most my most favorite countries to play and to visit. You know, so <laughs> we're just dying just to come back down. Oh, we're honoured. Well, we can't wait for the album and we can't wait for you guys to come back down under. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to have a chat with us on the Faction Radio and I hope you have a lovely rest of the week. Cool, Mum. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks so much. See you later. Bye.